Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day in Jesus. This is the God's Justice Study Bible. Now, God's justice, what is even meant by that? Is that social justice or what? Well, it's more along the line of what's known as a theodicy, which is um, the old, I mean, this goes back to the pre-Socratic Greeks. How can, if God is good, how can there be evil in the world? And so then what's known as a theodicy is how you defend God against those accusations. And I think it's along those lines. Um, it does have wonderful uh, sewn sides and a fantastic intro page. And it's even quoting like Acts 3, 19 through 21. Your sins may be forgiven you when the times of refreshing come from the presence of the Lord. So that's good. Volume 1, Beginnings, Introducing Genesis by Tim Stafford. So it has a good introduction here. It's just well printed, let me say that. The cover, even though I'm assuming it's imitation leather, it uh, it's just feels really good. Just extremely good. Comes with one ribbon marker, uh, just a brown headband, tail band. Well, let me just show you the sides. It's got, I don't know if you can see kind of the multicolor underneath the gold edging. It's kind of um, multicolored in there, which is kind of unique. I don't know if that really showed up, but I don't know. Does that show up? Maybe better, Sister Fran. That may be better. So, good introductions. Tim Stafford, he's kind of a name in evangelicalism. Um, it doesn't have really you know notes on every page it does have like decorative vines and everything on every page and here's some pages with notes at the bottom again it does have introductions feels great in your hand though it just i mean it opens good i'm going to see if it lays flat in genesis i'm going to highly suspect it might because it feels so good when you're carrying this Bible. Now, you know, for a study Bible, it's not real big. The print size is rather small. It's an NIV. I'm not sure if it only comes in NIV. This was done in 216. So let's see. Yeah, see in Genesis 12, it's laying flat. Actually, that's 32. Um, but still, like so Psalms has a couple of pages of introduction that's by tim stafford i'm not sure if he did all the introductions the pages feel fantastic too like the the paper feels really good questions for reflection on malachi let me just show you flip through a few of these pages here it seems like i'm holding a quality bible in my hand that's just what it seems like those things happen. Doing the Premier Study Bible, we learned a little bit about how the Bible business is conducted. And basically, people go over from Zondervan or Nelson and all that. And they have different trusted printers that they use over there, six or eight. But people are constantly bidding for their business. And so some printers are, are better than others. And some printers get new equipment in and new computer equipment and stuff like that so things such as gold edging and you know just the whole printing process can be variable even amongst publishers because they may be using several printers in china now you know with china uh somewhat you know i understand they do certain things to certain groups of Christians over there and stuff. I've always been concerned about the tenuous nature of that, and I've, I've thought we should bring maybe Bible printing back home. I really appreciate 
the people that do that, like our, our Donnelly and Sons and then Church Bible Publishers and then all your local Church Bible Publishers and then your Bearing Precious Seed and all that. But uh, there's not a lot of Bible Publishers. Uh, China, I don't know what percentage of Bibles they're publishing in English, but it's a bunch. Seeing if they got anything in the back. The print size, I'm going to guess, is about eight-ish. It's not a lot. It's not going to have a lot in the back. Yeah, like, it doesn't have anything in the back. Textual basis, except table of weights and measures. Yeah, and that's really it for the back. So, let me just read you a little bit of an introduction. And this, the... Flourishing of creation and the destruction of evil. So let's just read a little bit. This ribbon marker doesn't look quite long enough to me. And it doesn't look like it's been cut. This is the ribbon marker that came with it. The ribbon marker, let's see if we can get this. Well, it's still one and three quarters to two inches. Just doesn't look like it's quite long. The word introduction means literally to get inside. When we get inside the book of Isaiah, we find the subject of justice. Though through Isaiah's majestic poetry, God focuses attention on the political and military dealings of the day, courtrooms, streets, marketplaces, and battlefields. God's concerns do not end with the state of our hearts, minds, and spirit. He cares about the very practical subject of justice. So that's pretty interesting. So it's not just defending I noticed destruction of evil on the side. Um, but it does have to do with God's justice and bringing God's justice into the world. We have a justice system and all of this. So, fascinating. Hey, let's measure this thing real quick. It's, uh, it's a little over nine inches high. It doesn't have much of a yap. And then on the sides... A little bit on the side. Um, it's about uh, 6.4 inches. And then it's about 1.8 inches thick. Something like that. Not too bad. So this is the God's Justice Study Bible in NIV. So something you may be interested in. Um, fascinating especially those of you that collect study bibles or if you're interested in that particular subject so god bless talk with you later in jesus name